Hi, today we're going to be taking on a Boston view of My Little Pony, the movie, Life String Set from Hasbro. So, this is My Little Pony from the movie, String Lights, Five Lights per String, Barry Operate Indoor Use Only, 5.6 feet or 67 inches total length, 4.3 feet, 52 inches light string length, or light length. And then, you know, www.mylittlepony.com, made by Hasbro, requires two double white berries not included. And hey, parents, facebook.com forward slash mylittlepony, and if they're in the blue, it says, uh, Website not available in all languages, so yeah. But here's what's kind of weird it says, if I could get the camera to focus, there we go, five lights per string. So it looks like there's Princess Tri Sparkle, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rarity, and Rainbow Dash. Five? That's freaking weird. I mean, how did Hasbro drop the ball on this? There's, you know, what's been going on from like season one to like now season seven, which I heard rumors of season eight going to be coming out. Which, you know, I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that they do come out with season eight. The main sets. You know, there's Try Sparkle, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rarity, Rainbow Dash. But what about poor little Fluttershy? Why did they cut her from the light string set? There's always been the main sets, not the main five. So you get five out of the visual main sets, main sets, you know, being the thing from season one of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic all the way through kind of season seven, which now I guess there's not really the main sets anymore. You had the sets, but then, pony-wise, you have Starlight Glimmer, which is now, I guess, the seventh. And then, of course, Trissy, which is kind of the eighth, which Trissy doesn't make that much of an appearance. Compared to Starlight Glimmer, which makes a little more appearance in Season 7 than, you know, Star than Trissy does. So, originally, there is, you know, the main sets, Season 1 through 6. But season seven kind of now going on to main seven, main eight ish. If you include, you know, Starlight Glimmer, which now she's starting to be a weather character like the main set, so I guess she could be at sub main seven. And if you do include Twitzy, which would be a sub sub main eight. And of course, the one that never gets counted for, of course. He's not a pony. But he should because he was right there with the main sets from season one all the way on to now season seven, which again hopefully there is gonna be season eight. Spike the Dragon. I don't know why they don't count him as the main. Yes, I know he's not a pony, he's obviously a dragon. But I mean, come on, he's pretty much been a lot of episodes compared to Starlight Glimmer. Trissy Lua Moon. You know, but I mean, how did Hasbro really drop the ball of putting five out of the main sets? I couldn't understand not putting Starlight Glimmer in there and maybe Trissy Lula Moon, but the main sets was Twilight Sparkle, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy. How the after they cut Fluttershy from the main sets and said, oh, five lights per screen, but instead of saying, oh, wait, 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 there's the main sets, not the main five. Yeah. Somehow Hasbro after a bit time on this. Because we all know main sets, not five. So they have a little try me button up here, which you can see right here. Kind of what the lights are going to like. Not too bad, not too bad. 
the lights are, like I said, double A and stuff, so enough complaining. I mean, especially, you know, that's something that they should have watched out for and made six characters the main sets instead of five, considering that they're really pushing hard to promote the movie. My Little Pony, the movie, which is going to be the first movie of them actually being in pony ish form, pony slash mermaid form. Instead of what they were in the EQ or Equestria Girl one, as kind of humanized pony form for the first, you know, four movies. So this one's going to be more pony slash mermaid ish versus, you know, pony humanoid ish. So, first actual ish pony movie, if you don't count, you know, the other pony movies, which were. Equestria or girl human lies is pony forms. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean. If you've seen the main four My Little Pony Equestria Girl movies. So, yeah. Oh, where did I pick this up at? If you're wondering. And thanks for staying this long in the video. I know someone's going to be like, where did you pick this up at? Target. Totally like, you know, they're down and up section, kind of by the front doors there. I put it up for like, I think three bucks, I want to say. Three or five dollars. I can't exactly remember the price of it, but I'm pretty sure it was like, I want to say three dollars, but I'm pretty sure it was probably like five bucks for it. Which is not that bad of a price, but I mean, come on. Five out of the main six ponies. That's, you know, something that, you know, this company... Which doesn't say what the company what is. They made this. I'm guessing it has to be Hasbro because they're the only ones on here. How do they like mess up on this bit time? Let's kind of get this separated. I mean, it's a pretty big light set that you have here. So, let's tell you a little bit more dash. So, I kind of thought that this was, like, fabric felt on here. It's not. It's actually uh, plastic. So, plastic. But there is a bit of a tester feel to it. And some glitter. As you can see now on the camera, a little bit of the glitter effect coming on here. I like how they did manage to cut Easton like part of her hair, part of her hair. Kind of very little tip of her horn. Uh, her ponytail. What did they do for Rarity? Actually, they did nothing for Rarity. All the Owens kind of got a little something in Esther. That they cut out design wise, which made it a little, little bit better, you know. Like I said, the hair, let me kind of move that out of the way and stuff. Get these kind of face in one direction ish. I don't know, I guess they go that way and stuff. So, can you pop this out? Uh, probably, yeah. So, just pop it out like that. It looks like there is a little button cell battery in here in the little try me mode. So that's what they look like when they're all lit up. And don't worry, we'll turn off the lights to actually see it light up. But first, let me install some batteries in here. It looks like there's just the on and off switch. I thought that there might be like three different modes, but it's not. So, let's get this open up. Which it... Looks like it opens up this way, but it actually opens up the other way. So, just some information out there. Just try and get this stupid thing to open up. So, you do have to kind of push down on this little tab here to then get it to slide open. Okay. 
there we go. Looks like it's really tight compartment for the batteries to sit in. And it kind of is. So I don't even know if I could get this cover bat on here. I don't want to force the cover bat on there because it looks like it's going to be snapped off. Like the little tab is going to be bolted in. Because there's a tab back here and a little tab up there. So if you're like, why am I not putting the cover on? Because the batteries, it seems like it's going to break this. So maybe off camera I can fidget around a little bit and maybe try to get in there a little better. So that the cover could go on, but I don't want to break this right now. So my camera is about to die, so let me go turn off the lights and show you how bright this thing is. Actually, let me turn this on. So, uh, on camera, as you can see, it is a little bright. Not super duper uber bright, but, you know, you can obviously see on camera as you can right now. And off camera, yeah, you could definitely see the faces. I mean, on camera, you could definitely see, you know, Twilight and Rarity. It's for Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, and Applejack. Not really. But you know what? For five bucks, like three to five hours, is it worth it? Yeah, I guess so. Let me turn the lights down. There we go. Yeah, I guess so. Like I said, it's worth it. I mean, I'm very disappointed that they have five out of the main six. Hasbro, how can you mess up on that? Yeah, Hasbro. They know the main sets from season one all the way to season seven. And of course, in the My Little Point Request Your Girl movies, but when it comes to the light set, no love for Fortnite, they just cut her right out of the light set. So you have the main five instead of the main sets. Which is weird because, you know, they're saying My Little Pony, the movie. Which first I is in the movie. Which, by the way, if you're wondering what month and date the movie is, October set. So, 10 sets, 2017. My Little Pony, the movie. They're going to have it. That's what the date of that movie is going to be released in the show. But, um, yeah. I heard on uh, Twitter, I believe it was. No, don't tell me like, oh, you said this, and it's not, but right now it's kind of a rumor going on that if you go to the show to watch the movie, they're going to have like special edition and plasticky popcorn buckets and cups, and it's going to be little cup toppers. There's going to be rare tea, Troy Sparto, Pinkie Pie, and Rainbow Dash. No Fire Shy again. And no um, Apple Jack. So no rumors about the main sets going to be in the cup toppers. So, so far what I read from the post is only four are going to be for little cup toppers. That you can put on top of your cups. Or just spread them on a shelf or on dust or whatever. But yeah, just a little information out there because, you know, ten... 10? I know. Yeah, 10 10, I think it was. October. No, 10 sets, I believe it was. October sets is when the movie's coming out. So, yeah. So, if you go into the movie, buy the popcorn, pack this deal, get your popcorn, get your drink, get a little top, cup topper. And then you have, you know, the souvenir cup to take home and the souvenir popcorn button, which. Every Saturday, you can fill it with popcorn as you're watching a new episode of My Little Pony, the new season episode, which is pretty cool. So yeah, just some information out there about the lights, how much they cost, where you get them, when the movies come out, what's up with Hasbro cutting 
Apple J and Fortnite from the cup toppers from the movie, you know, combo popcorn combo deal. And why did cut Fortnite from the live stream set? Who knows? But anyway, hopefully you got some information and you enjoy. So that has been the review of My Little Pony the movie streamlight set. Be mad to waste subscribe and leave a comment. Alright, thanks. Bye.